Ready, dear? Yes. Okay. Hey there, it's Steve. And Terry. From Serious Keto. And in this video, we are going to be doing an unboxing of the November Keto Chow Chow Club Chow Box. I think there's a, probably a shorter way to say that. But we're going to do that as well as test out the last two sweet flavors as well as all four of the soups. Sounds good. Sounds yummy. <laughs> I, ho I hope so. But before we start, I just need to get something out of the way that happens every single time I review Keto Chow. I get a couple people that are concerned about the cost of Keto Chow. So for example, a Chow Club box is about $100 a month before you use the Serious Keto discount code. That gets it down to about $90 a month. But there's 30 full meals as well as some mystery goodies in there. So $3 a meal. When you go to McDonald's, how much do you spend for a value meal? $9. There you go. <laughs> so this is every bit as convenient as McDonald's for a fraction of the price, a lot better taste, it's keto. That's all I have to say. But if you wanna hear more about my opinions on value versus cost, I will link exactly to the spot in my last podcast where I talk about that right up there. All right, dear, you ready to do this thing? Yes. I have taken the liberty of cutting the tape, so I will let you do the honors of opening it up. You got pretty enthusiastic the last one we did. Yeah. <laughs> So usually what they do is they put in one really big bag, like a 21 serving bag of one flavor. But last month they gave us 30 different flavors and it looks like that's the case again this month. Yes, 30 different kinds. They didn't have the purple confetti stuff though this time, uh, did they? Some. Oh, yep. one, that's like one well, piece. No, there's plenty. Okay. There's, it's All right. at the bottom. <laughs> All right, so let's, what do we have? Banana. Okay. Banana tastes just like the Jell-O brand pudding, banana pudding, really good stuff. Pumpkin spice caramel. Do we have that already? Yes, good time of the year for that. Pistachio. Which is one of the two flavors we haven't tried yet. Okay. And I happen to off camera have some. Root beer float. Yeah, that's a good one. Orange mango. I'm trying to remember what I thought of orange mango. I, I seem you to think. You didn't like, yeah. I, I didn't. I, I, well, you liked it, but it was, it didn't. Yeah. Thrills. Thrills, yeah. Okay. But I, I liked it better. Okay, you so liked the or, orange mango, yeah, not one of my super duper favorites. Like Raspberry cheesecake, is, yeah. on the other hand, <laughs> is incredible. Awesome as ice cream, too. If you have like a ninja creamy or something like that. Speaking of which, I'll link to that review video up there too. Mocha. Looks like they oh, went good on the mocha. Yeah. Lena, whoa, yeah, a lot of mocha. There must, I bet you there's probably a recipe card that uses mocha. Courtney likes mocha. I bet she does. And the taco is good. Yummy. Did we have that yet? I, we've added it to ground beef yeah. to make like taco, taco seasoning. Yeah. But, uh, which is actually kind of cool because if you're keto, you don't drain off the fat. You just leave the fat in there. And because of the acacia gum in this, it binds the fat together and basically makes a sauce. Probably not as spicy as I like it though. Yeah, it's, so it's, yeah, it's not spicy. Kind of mild. average. Mm, eggnog. Eggnog, all right. Yeah, that's good for coming You liked, for, you loved, I like eggnog. You like yeah. the eggnog. And eggnog, good. More eggnog. Peaches and cream. Peaches and cream, my least favorite flavor of keto chow. Oh. According to Chris at Keto Chow, it's the most divisive of all their flavors. People sort of love it or hate it. I'm in the not a big fan <laughs> category. I think it just it reminds me of hand lotion. Key lime. Key I lime is good. That's good, yeah. yeah. I think we did, yeah. So, yeah, and then we have two chocolate peanut butter. Mm. Okay. Chocolate peanut butter, one of my favorite flavors. These are so good. So there's something, there's a bunch, like, a usually there's a, a gift of some sort. Is there something buried underneath the confetti? Oh, Irish cream. Ah, so Irish cream is a new flavor. Yeah. It's from Joe and Rachel at Two Crazy Ketos. They did a caramel macchiato flavor that was great, just amazing. So... I'm a, I'm a little bit actually nervous about trying this one on Joe and Rachel's behalf just because they set the bar so high with the last one. No, uh, no other special pack-in gifts, though, this month. Like last month, what was it last month? Was it the uh, utensils? Like the oh, yeah. The, the wooden, wooden spoons. Spoon, and yeah. the month before, yeah, it was a... And, uh, 
on mitts. Yeah, an oven mitt the month the before. Mitt, yeah. And the uh, the apron. Apron. So, hmm, no special pack in this month, but we do have a brand new flavor. Yeah. So that's exciting. What do we have for recipe oh, cards? Raspberry eggnog muffins. That okay, sounds that's yummy. Uh, raspberry. raspberry mascarpone cookie baskets. That sounds great for Christmas yeah. dessert. Irish cream parfaits. Par mm. Parfaits. Okay. That's that would be good for uh, Thanksgiving. Whis um, mug cake. A lot of people have those mug cakes. Mochaccino, well, mochaccino mug cake. Mug okay. cake. All right. And enchiladas. All right. We had uh, with our beef. Yeah. So very good. All right. So. We have our usual tasting mugs, which just happen to be, what? What are they? Irish cream. <laughs> yeah, like Irish coffee Irish mugs. Irish coffee mugs. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Smells very much like coffee. Oh, I'm oh. Probably, probably not going to like, I don't like the coffee. I don't <laughs> like coffee. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. You're already grimacing. Oh, I smelled it. I don't like coffee. It smells like coffee. Hmm. No, it doesn't, well, it's, it's all right. I mean, if it's in a dessert, I would have it, but uh, it smells like coffee, and I don't like the smell of coffee. It also has a long coffee finish. Yeah. After, you're not a fan? I'm not a fan. I don't like coffee, so. Yeah. I'm taking yours then, because I like this. I like coffee, so I like this. I think if you go... Well, it's like coffee. <laughs> yeah, I don't like coffee. If you go into this thinking I, Irish cream, like Bailey's Irish cream, yeah, it no. doesn't taste anything like that. This is like, they should probably relabel this Irish coffee yeah. because that's what this tastes like. And I think if, if that was their goal, they hit it. Yeah, I could definitely see making this into some ice cream. This is a good job. Joe, Rachel, another hit. So for our other sweet flavor, we're trying out pistachio. pistachio. You like pistachio, right? Yes. I love pistachio ice cream. I'm trying to remember, what is the, the name of the Italian uh, ice cream that has the, I think it's pistachio, vanilla, and cherry. Is that Spumoni? Yeah, Spumoni. We might have to try and make some of that with the Ninja oh, yeah? Creamy. Do they have, I don't think these guys have a cherry flavor, though. Oh. Mm. Chris, cherry. Miriam, yeah. maybe get <laughs> on that. Yeah, cherry pie flavor. Yeah, that would be good. So you, are, you, 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 you take what I have and you add and you make it better. That's what a relationship is all about. Here we go. I think when I make this into ice cream, I'm definitely going to have to add some more sweetener and probably some more salt. I think, I think that would take this up a notch. It seems sort of mild enough that once it's frozen and turned into ice cream... I don't think the, I don't think it's going to taste strong enough. If you add a little chocolate to it, it'd be really good. Like a little splash of chocolate chips or something. Or yeah, yeah take like the microplane and just you know sh dark shave off yeah, a little dark chocolate dark on top of it. Light, but light. yeah, it's good. But I think it could be stronger. And I think maybe a little bit of allulose or some other sweetener and some salt would probably ratchet up the flavor a bit. But that's going to be it for our taste testing today. Okay. We're going to come back in another day or over the course of the weekend and review all four of their savory mixes. So we'll see you after the break. So now we're going to try out the four savory mixes. They're all soups, starting with beef soup base. So I made this per the instructions with a half stick of butter, about 14 ounces of hot water and mixed it up in my blender. Still a little bit frothy. Very frothy. Mm -hmm. Ready? Uh, a little buttery. Yeah, it's definitely buttery. <laughs> the froth. Um, Get digger in. Okay. Now that you've double dipped, you're going to have to finish the whole thing. It's okay. So, definitely buttery. I'm wondering if making this with cream instead might be a, a better way to go. Pretty mild, too. Yeah. More beef flavor needed. Yeah, I mean, it almost tastes a little bit like a weak cream of mushroom soup, yeah. <laughs> in a way. The finish to it is definitely bone broth. 
And I've talked to Chris at Keto Chow about that, and he said that some people kind of dislike that taste. And probably going forward, they're going to they're gonna remove the bone broth powder from the beef base and just have it be all beef powder. I'm going to say right now this is a little bit weak. It might be the sort of thing, though, that you could add just a can of sliced mushrooms to, and you pretty much got a cream of mushroom soup. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's all right. for a ba- It's a base, so yeah. you add to it. Yeah, I think that's the key. I Garlic. think adding some yeah. herbs, some spices, spices. that's going to take yeah. this to, like, real soup. Yeah. Next up we have... Creamy tomato basil. All right. So we've kind of got a high bar set. We've been making a lot of tomato soup from tomatoes from our garden lately. Let's see how this compares. You can go first. This is better. It's got, I taste tomato. And again, a lot more herbs you need. So there's, it's bland. But yeah, salt, it's, you need more salt. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I see this as a base. It might but, be interesting when we make tomato soup tonight to yeah. maybe add a scoop of this into that just to, to thicken things up. But yeah, and the basil, I taste the basil. So yeah, yeah. definitely pick up the, the basil at the end. I almost feel like I'm getting like a little bit of a Parmesan. Parmesan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I think now we're sort of two for two in terms of things that you can build on but I don't necessarily know that I would just consume it straight up like this. Yeah, no. I'll eat, just flavor it up. It's good. All right, what do we have now? Savory chicken soup flavor. Straight from the blender, still pretty foamy. I like this one. More chicken flavor. This is good, a little salt and Beef. pepper. I think yes. is about all this would take. Also, I have used this in making the Keto Chow Drop Biscuits. The recipe's out on their website. Using this, pretty tasty. I could also see maybe trying to make some sort of a Keto Chicken in the Biscuit type of cracker using this stuff. But so far, uh, across the three that we've had, this one has been the closest to, like, just ready to eat straight up. Just a little salt and pepper, I think. Yeah, yeah. Just a couple noodles. Maybe some... Well, maybe those keto noodles that I make. Yeah, keto noodles. <laughs> All right, you ready for the the last one? Yes. Okay. For our final soup, we have... Spicy taco base. Woohoo! We've already used this. We've used it in making uh, taco, taco meat. meat. And we found it wasn't all that spicy, but we really liked the way it kind of held everything together Love in it. a sauce. You didn't get any grease separating, which was nice. Yeah. Mm. I, I like this. It's yeah. got, it does have a little punch at the end. Yeah, I think, I think it got a little bit diluted when we made the taco, taco meat. meat. yeah. But, yeah, this yeah, is, this is, punch. This is fairly <laughs> solid. I think I'm going to... You're going to want some more? Yeah. What is it? It reminds me... Do they make, like, a taco-flavored goldfish cracker? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what this tastes like. But, again, I think this is the sort of thing that you could doctor up a little bit with a little extra seasoning... And, you know, maybe some chopped up tomatoes thrown, thrown in here. Yeah. Onion, tomato. Maybe a little chorizo so, or something, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. chorizo and so, cilantro. So fairly solid on its own. But like the other three, I just I feel that all of these can benefit from additional ingredients. And I think maybe that's why they label it base rather than just ready-to-go soup. soup. Yeah. Otherwise, they'd put it in cans. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So we have now tried every one of the Keto Chow flavors. That was that was a lot we went through over yes. the course of the few videos. But that means that in future unboxing videos, unless they have another new flavor, and uh, I'm working on developing one or two, that any additional stuff we do besides the unboxing will likely be cooking and trying out some of the recipe cards that they send along with the boxes. Additionally, stay tuned over the next couple of weeks because I got a feeling I might be doing a pretty big Keto Chow giveaway to my viewers. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time. (laughs) Bye.